Frankenstein Chapter 5 Oh, why am I alive? I cried to myself. I hated the person who had created me. I was angry with the world of people, and I wanted revenge. When night came, I went into the forest, where I screamed and cried loudly like a wild animal. I ran through the trees and destroyed things. Everyone in the world was sleeping or happy except me. I was unwanted, hated and feared by everyone. I hated all humans, especially my creator. It was time for war. Next day, the de Lacy's left. I heard Felix saying, We can't live here now. My father's life is in danger. My sister will never forget what we saw. We must leave this place. Later that day, I went back to the now abandoned house, and in a fit of rage, I set fire to it. I then decided to find you, Frankenstein. You created me. You were responsible for me. When I left your laboratory, I took a piece of paper with me. It had your name on it. I discovered you were in Geneva, a town I had read about in one of de Lacy's books. It was late autumn when I left. The rivers were frozen and the earth was hard and cold. I travelled by night so nobody would see me. It was spring when I arrived. As I was walking by the lake, I saw a small boy. Such a young child surely wouldn't have fear and hate in his heart. I approached him and he screamed. I tried to calm him and asked him to listen to me. He thought I wanted to attack and eat him and threatened to tell his father, Mr. Frankenstein. It was at this moment I realised he was from the family of my enemy and decided to take my revenge by killing him. I felt happy and proud. Frankenstein will know suffering too now, I said to myself. I noticed a small picture in the child's pocket. It was of a beautiful woman. This made me angry. A beautiful woman could never love me. I took the picture to a hut in the field. I wanted somewhere to hide. In the hut, a young woman was sleeping. I watched her, hoping she wouldn't wake up and see me. Then I had an idea. I put the small picture in her coat pocket. They will think she is the murderer, I thought. Then I ran away as fast as I could. So, Frankenstein, the monster said, that is my story. I came to these mountains hoping to find you. You mustn't go until you've promised me something. I'm alone. My life is misery and humans will never be my friends. I want you to create another monster. I want a wife. At first I stood silent, but then shouted, I refuse. If I created a wife for him, there would be two of these evil monsters in the world. The monster went on to explain that he was bad because he was unhappy. He had no reason to like people because they hated him. If he couldn't have love, he would create fear. But if I created a wife for him, he promised they would live far away in the forests of South America. In the end, I agreed to make him a wife, but only if he promised to never come back to Europe. He promised and disappeared across the ice.